This is the situation right here. My abs are so ripped up, it's called the situation. A Guido is a good looking, smooth, well dressed Italian. Looks good. <laughs> I check out the mirror and, like, whew, today's gonna be a good day. day. Dang. Today is going to be a Dang. good day for us. His six-pack abs and signature smirk made him an instant reality TV sensation. But it's his story of love, loss, and redemption that tur has turned his 15 minutes of fame into 15 years. Now he gets brutally honest about aspects of his life that cameras didn't always catch. In his new memoir, Reality Check, Making the Best of the Situation. Please welcome Mike, the situation, Sorrentino. Woo! We still got those abs? Um, but currently, the situation is under construction, but that is <laughs> one of the 2024 goals. Okay, sure. I love it. Nice. I love it. Well, I love speaking it. Speaking of under construction, I mean, this book. Your book is lit. I know you said there were things in there that your wife didn't even know. Yep, mm -hmm. she did. Now that the book is out, were there things that surprised your family or your co stars? Um, I mean, I let my wife uh, read it before it went live, and she cried like every chapter. Um, just because she thought it was that good. Yeah. Um, my friends and my family, my coworkers are all super, super proud of me that I was able to put together um, something that was honest, raw, unfiltered, but at the same time, um, it's going to save millions of lives because I document within those those pages how I recovered from addiction. Wow. And speaking of that, I mean, you have been so open and honest about overcoming addiction. What I want to know is, did the did the the castmates ever confront you? Were you able to, how long were you able to hide it from them? I mean, to be honest with you, um, I was ripping and running ever since uh, season two of Jersey Shore Family, not Jersey Shore Family, but Jersey Shore, which Whoa. was probably, um, that was uh, 2010. Yeah. Um, I didn't get sober until 2015. Yeah. So um, I was going, I was a menace for quite some time. Um, they, I don't think the cast had they, an idea. The, the writing was on the wall, but there was no concrete proof. Mm. I mean, every season, producers uh, would pull me aside and they would delicately talk to me and say, "Listen, you know, um, we think there's a problem here. It's okay to raise your hand. We'll help you and support you get help." But I wasn't ready to reveal it to the world at that particular time period. Mm. Wow. Mm. You know, it's crazy. You credit your wife, Lauren, to sticking by your side through yeah. all of it. You know, the legal troubles, the addiction. Was there ever a time you thought that she was done with you for good? I felt that when I uh, went to rehab in 2015, which was my fourth time. Whoa. Um, I felt like I had no chances left. Yeah. Um, I was broke. I was homeless. I had just spent almost a million dollars on lawyers a year or so prior, I spent a half a million dollars on cocaine and, co and uh, oxycodone. I felt like I, there was no more room for mistakes. I had to man up all hands on deck to try to, to try to pitch this perfect comeback. Wow. That's incredible. And what a comeback it's been. What I love is that the book is so serious, but then there's also these really lighthearted Hollywood pop culture moments. So I want you to take me to the moment of when you learned The Rock was a fan <laughs> of the situation. Oh, wow. Well, I've, I've been a, a fan of The Rock since uh, I was younger. But uh, I was uh, strolling through the airport on the way to another uh, appearance tour. And I saw The Rock, and he was just about to go uh, onto his plane, and he stopped. And he's like, oh, situation? <laughs> he's like, uh, America loves you, you branded yourself, and nobody taught you how. Uh, congratulations. And then he was out. Oh, but so, that's from, enough. It was just quick. It was from just quick. the doctor of branding himself. Yes. <laughs> it's so it was, crazy. It was really quick. Um, I was kind of shook. And at the same time, like I said, I've been a fan of him since I was younger. Um, but that was an amazing moment for sure, you know. Well, speaking of Shook, the new season of Jersey Shore Family mm -hmm. Vacation premieres February 8th, and we have a sneak peek at what's to come. Let's take a look. Oh, damn. For the first time ever. Yo, what up? We here. They're all reuniting under one roof. We're on to you. What is happening? Am I living in a Twilight Zone? This season. My and Angelina went on four oh, days. Is sure to make history. Where's the bitch? Don't arrest me. <laughs> My new nickname is the publication. Let's get it. Let's get it. The publication. Okay. Yeah. I gotta ask you. Yeah. Did you ever think there would be a day that Ron and Sam would be in the same room at the same time back on the show? I'd have to say no, but we're about to find out. 
Wow. I know you out. probably can't say anything, really but like blink really twice can't. if it's absolute chaos. Um, <laughs> I really can't say anything, but y'all need to tune into this one. Yeah. This is like a decade in the making, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and y'all get to see what happens. Oh, Ooh. I love this so much. All right, so you were expecting, congratulations, yes. another baby, and this yes. means you will be officially outnumbered. <laughs> we're gonna have three ladies you live with and yes. one little guy. Yes. How excited are you and, uh, and another little baby girl? Oh my God, I am uh, over the moon, so excited. Uh, our new baby girl is uh, expected in March, and we are definitely outnumbered. Situation, family of five, here we come. Um, but it made me realize something. That That's now it. that I got two baby girls, yeah. it's time for me to take jujitsu classes. <laughs> yeah, it's time. I you got like a you, few years. Yeah, I feel like you paid for karma to be demolished because you didn't want your daughters oh, going to karma. Oh, yeah, we got a situation with that. Yeah, <laughs> karma was just demolished. It's crazy, yeah. but it's cute when you got a twinkle in your eye when you're talking about the babies. I, I, I and I like, do, I you're do. like the situation, you're the ultimate Guido. Like, and now I you're do. soft daddy. Yes, I'll be honest with you. Uh, having a big Italian family is like the end game. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. that's what you work your whole life to get the family, get the kids, yeah. um, have the white picket fence. You did it. You know, and, you know, daddy's a legend. Congratulations Who are you? to you. Well, Mike, thank you so much for stopping by tonight. Reality Check, his brand new book, is available right now.